What's back here? Stuff, I swear your curiosity is gonna get you in trouble one of these days. Hmm. Huh. I think I should turn around. <laughs> Y'all look suspicious. You guys, I'm such a paranoid person. Speaking of paranoid, um, what did not help my paranoia was a very creepy thing that happened to us. Actually, I'm gonna park over here. No, I'm gonna go over here. But I'm gonna back up. Yeah, I think if I back up, it's just better. I don't even wanna talk about it too much. I'm currently still like trying to get over it to be completely honest with you. Saturday, we, um, Amy came over and we were just having a barbecue, whatever. It was around, Amy I believe left at like eight o'clock. And I know this cause I'll tell you guys why I know this. And then um, it was like starting to rain. And that's, I guess that's part of the reason why she was leaving. She left and my mom loves reading like her books and stuff during the rain, right? And she was gonna read it in the backyard. I, you guys, you guys will catch me like looking around cause I'm mad, paranoid. Everywhere I go by myself, I know like my 360 surroundings, okay? That's just me. Um, especially because I'm always by myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm single, I don't go anywhere with like a boyfriend or anything. Um, I go out with my family, but mostly everything I do is by myself. So I'm very, very paranoid, like in general. After this, I'm like extra sensitive paranoid. Um, so whatever, my mom wanted to read her, her book in the garage. She gets to see the view of the rain from the front. It's funny because I tightened her sunglasses. I have like this thing where I tighten like the screws of the sunglasses. Her thing was loose or whatever, the screws were loose. And I said, oh, why did you leave this here? And she said, oh, I need you to tighten the screws for me. I said, okay, whatever. So I went to go tighten them for her. She grabbed them and she unlocked her car from inside and she um, went to go put them inside of her car. And then she came back in the garage and she shut the door, but the garage door was open and she went to the washroom. So she goes to the washroom. <sighs> Sorry. She goes to the washroom. She comes out and she opens up the garage door to go and read her book and has her iPad in her hand and she goes inside and she goes like this and looks inside of her car and someone's in there going like this. Like just, you know, going a little bit frantic and like reaching for stuff. And she, she said that she literally paused and she looked and she went, okay, um, that's not my husband. Cause my husband's downstairs. And my dad walks around with a shirt off. So she knew it wasn't him. It took about, I, I don't know, let's just say five seconds to register that this was someone inside of her car. This guy came inside of her garage, went inside of her, went inside of her unlocked car and was staring right at her after he noticed her. So when that registered to her, my mom did the most loudest and I, I was the one who heard the scream. My, I'm sure my dad heard it from downstairs too. It was the most loudest disturbing scream I have ever heard my mother do. And probably the most disturbing scream disturbing scream i've ever heard in my entire life for me personally i was upstairs in my in my studio and i was just doing my stuff i actually just finished lighting up a candle and i was just going to sit down to relax <laughs> that didn't happen I heard her scream and everything inside of me i'm not gonna lie to you guys my first instinct was just to scream like what but i just screamed i said what i said what what and i just screamed back and she said she just kept screaming and she couldn't get it out she said that she couldn't get the words out of her mouth and I know that that's true because you would hear a pause and then you would hear a scream and then you would hear a pause and you would hear a scream so she was only able to scream and I was like oh my god I said what what's going on and like I was like oh my god like did she see someone like a shot did she see like I instantly thought of someone like being dead in front of her I don't know why but that was just my my worst fear I guess I rushed downstairs and I said what is going on and she said there all I heard before I was going down the stairs was there's a man in our driveway there's a man in our driveway he was in my car he was in my garage and I was like what this has never happened to us by the way you guys we've never like been robbed before it's just really shocking to me you hear it happen to other people but you don't like obviously you don't want to think it ever happening to you right so she said there's a man in my driveway i literally you guys i freaked i freaked i freaked the front door i think she was trying to see if he was there i freaked and i literally yelled out at him i was like get out i yelled as loud as i possibly could to get him the hell off of our property and then i said and then like i wasn't even concerned about screaming for my dad i was just concerned about getting this guy away from my property that was like my biggest fear so my dad comes upstairs didn't even know what the hell was going on and my mom was just ballistic at this point. Like, who would not be? I felt so horrible for her that she saw this right in front of her. Like, she saw this man right in front of her. 
and she said that guy could have pulled out a weapon and I my life would have been gone it's like thank God that he did not my dad goes outside and we're like get inside like what are you doing are you crazy this guy could turn around and like shoot you or do something we don't know what he has on him but like Amy said that's a man's instinct to just run out and try to defend his family and protect his family I get that but stupidest decision of life like thank you dad thank you but meanwhile I'm inside and I'm calling 911 because she's like call 911 and I just I'm calling I'm talking to the girl get everything settled the cops were there so freaking fast like thank you god they were there so fast there was like three cop cars seven or nine cops it was just like cops everywhere and I'm like great the scene is going on right in front of my house that's awesome like it's never a good look but now I understand that things like this just happen to people and you can't judge when there's like cops at someone's house because you don't know what happened right so now I know that they come whatever and we have footage we have like the cameras um, <clears throat> all around our house tried to steal from my dad's van he completely skipped my car my car was right there in front of him in the driveway I just finished parking my car by the way went back inside my mom was in the washroom and boom that's when he came inside creepy 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 she immediately locked it and i was like thank god that you did that because you don't know what his next motive was maybe to come inside the house you don't know that but you guys just like the most scariest thing i've ever had happen to me and like now i feel bad for my mom because every time she says she goes in the garage she sees that guy and i i would too and it's been hard for me to be honest with you leaving the house this is the first day today's tuesday and it happened saturday and it's my first time going out of the house by myself and it's creepy you know i'm going out now and i'm like constantly looking around like who's around me and it's just really unsettling and really uncomfortable. With things like this, you cannot control. You can't control other people's actions. And at the end of the day, I can walk around being extremely afraid and extremely paranoid and very uncomfortable and anxious. But you know, what kind of way of, what kind of way is that to live your life? You know what I mean? You can't really do that. Still, of course, it's smart to be paranoid, especially if you're, you know, a woman and you're by yourself. It's good to be paranoid. A little bit and worried about your surroundings just not too too paranoid so I'm just like I'm kind of working on it especially because I like to go to Starbucks and I like to edit and I come home at like 7 8 o'clock at night and that's when this happens so it's really creeping me out and it's really scaring me but I have to do it and I can't let what happened scare me off from living my life I just can't good news is nobody got hurt not not one single person got hurt what I suggest for you guys is don't leave any valuables inside of your car anything extremely extremely valuable always have your doors locked no matter how comfortable you think your neighborhood is it does not matter I have no valuables in my car so if they came inside here they wouldn't find anything in mine either just kind of rethink what you guys are leaving inside of your car unfortunately there's gonna be people like that in this world and um, we can't really uh, we can't really stop it um, I wish we could so I mean I feel good to be out because I don't want to be a prisoner in my home I don't want to be like that I just wanted to share it with you guys because I want you guys to kind of maybe learn something from it possibly I am at the grocery store right now I am at Sobeys did I even start off this video properly I don't even think I did I have not done my grocery shopping as of yet ever since my trip and my fridge is extremely extremely upset with me right now because it's like where's your healthy food like where's the food at Stephanie like come on I don't like calling myself Stephanie. Did you guys know that? I don't like Stephanie. I like Steph, so I don't know why I just said that. I'm gonna try to get as healthy groceries as I possibly can because my stomach is still giving me problems. I still feel like I have food poisoning. I think that's what I do have, you guys. I've had food poisoning before, and that's this feeling. It's a very tight feeling in your stomach. I don't have an appetite. I don't even want to eat anything. I'm eating because I have to at this point, and it's just taking some time. Last time, I took a whole like two weeks for me to get over this i have been having like certain things that aren't the greatest for me because i've just been enjoying a little bit it's so funny because there's like a bunch of old people at this time because it's like what time is it 10 38 yeah it's so funny like who you see inside the grocery store there's usually older people because it's like it's a tuesday and it's a morning and they're all retired so it's kind of cute i didn't make a list i don't even like making lists i i just i can't stand it i'm a planner but i don't like writing things down <laughs> might make that pasta again or maybe some soup with these guys yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a soup I should probably get some fruit you know what I've been liking these apricots over here you know I've never tried an apricot in my entire life except for this weekend insane I know I'm gonna get three apricots get them my fruit uh, Carrots, you guys. Carritos. I'm gonna 
do my lentil soup, my veggie one. So I'm trying to think of all the possible veggies that I want in there. I love putting cabbage. I'm gonna get some celery, you guys. Oh, the shower's just started. You guys wanna know something? Sometimes I feel like asking them if I can film in here. I'm like, hmm, maybe I should just ask them and see. But then I'm afraid that they're gonna be like, no, you can't film in here. And then I can't do no grocery hauls for you guys. So we're just gonna hide it, okay? Shh. I'm getting kind of sick of my normal breakfast, so I'm actually gonna get these bagels, the cinnamon raisin ones. They are 190 calories each. I'm gonna pick up some wild haddock, you guys, some fillets. I actually have an idea for a meal that I think I wanna do for what I eat in a day for you guys. Picking up some more brown gravy because I'm actually out of this. I always like to have them. Can you guys guess where we're on our way to? Something that I always need, but I forget. I know where it is at Sobeys, but Loblaws is so tricky. I got so confused as I'm walking up because I'm like, wait a second, is this my almond milk? But they switched the packaging. That's why I'm like, where the heck is my almond milk and why doesn't this say organic? So it's this one. I actually like the new packaging, but man, I did not recognize it at all. I'm like, what is going on here? Let's go see if they have my sausages because sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I ran out of them and I absolutely need them. They're my favorite. I mean, why get one when you can get two? I think with the fish, I want a very fresh sort of salad. So I'm thinking of getting some sweet peppers. I'm gonna get this one, you guys. It has iceberg lettuce in it, so I think it'd be a really nice garden salad with the fish. Okay, mama, go pee pee. He does not want to go pee. He just wants to sit there. Really? You old man? I love you, mama. First thing, I got my yellow potatoes. So the reason why I always love to get the yellow potatoes, it says here, yellow flesh, because these ones cook way more faster, and I actually love how they have like this a little bit more of an undertone of a sweeter taste to them. Um, then I got over here some organic eggs. Then I got this little garden salad sort of packed by the compliments one. Then I got, of course, my pack of baby spinach. I'm gonna be doing um, a detox, like antioxidant sort of soup. Then I got my favorite, favorite, favorite Lily Dale turkey sausages. You guys know how hard I go for these guys. So I always get two packs. I put one of them inside of the freezer and then I put one of them inside of my fridge. Okay, this, like, it wasn't really, you know, something I was supposed to pick up, but we always have those things that you're not supposed to buy, but you do anyways. Um, I got these cheese tea biscuits. I'm actually gonna split it up and toast it, and then I'm gonna put butter on it. Oh my God, it's gonna be good, girl. My almond milk, they switched up the packaging on me. Like I said to you guys, I was so lost when I saw it. Our apricots, these apricots are so good. If you guys are like me where you don't really like fruit because you don't like when it's too, too sweet, apricots are the perfect thing for that. I think I'm actually gonna have one right now. Um, then I got some carrots. Then I got some mini squash over here. I got some green and yellow. I got some cabbage for our soup. I got a peach as well. Showed you guys I got these ones, the wild haddock fillets. I can't wait to do this. I'm gonna do a little bit more of um, a breaded sort of fish. I don't like to have it plain like this. Sometimes I like to have a piece of cheese with this and it's just it's so good. Okay, Ben. Ben, sit. Sit. Good boy. That's a good boy. Are you smiling? Are you smiling, mama? Then I got the salad dressing. I absolutely love it. I got the calorie-wise uh, version. It is the Greek feta and oregano. I got some sweet peppers. I'm gonna use these inside of the garden salad as well. Celery. Celery is gonna be also for our veggie soup. I love this one by Clubhouse. My favorite, favorite brown gravy. Oh my God, you guys. These look so good I just toasted it they're super hot and now this is the like this is the moment when you grab your butter and you rush to put it on the bread and when you guys like put on butter don't go light on it eh? get the low calorie one so that you can put a lot of it on her <laughs> I'm kidding not kidding I'm not as you guys can see I'm not look at that mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. why am I so happy when I'm eating it's just so good it's a biscuit like who in the world does not like a biscuit Billy who doesn't like a biscuit you can't have none, don't look at me. Mm. You can't just do little butter. Like, why would you just do little butter when you can have it all? It doesn't make any sense. You guys have to find 
cheese tea biscuits. Wherever you gotta find it, find it. I have a little bit of lentils that I put at the bottom. I have turmeric, I've chopped up a small onion, and I have also a garlic inside of here. A little bit of the chicken bouillon uh, powder just to kind of give it some flavor. I've let this kind of come to a boil just because the lentils take a long time to cook. I have my tea infuser over here on the side of my pot with a little bit of star anise inside of it. Inside of here, let's see if I can find it. There we go. A little stick of cinnamon. I have some carrots at the back here. I have my zucchini yellow squash. I decided just to do the yellow. Have some tomatoes, my spinach, and my cabbage, and then my celery over here. And I'm still kind of debating if I'm gonna put in um, this tomato juice over here. Okay, I put a little bit of cumin inside of here and I believe that's about it. This is how our soup is doing. I just added in these little tiny shell pastas inside of here. It's looking so good and it's tasting so good. I think I'm just gonna turn it off right now. I tried the broth and it is so perfect and delicious. I did decide to put a little bit of the uh, tomato juice. This is also perfect for fall and winter. So if you guys wanna try out this recipe, as you guys can tell, it is super easy. The rest of my soup from the pot literally fit inside of this entire container. Bentley hears me grab one of these and bite into a carrot. He comes upstairs. Okay, mommy, give you one carrot. Sit. Okay, without biting my finger, Bentley. I'm going to keep munching on my snack over here. Bentley, I ain't got no more for you. You can have one more carrot. Here, get for me every time. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.